Once we've pre-planned our project and got client sign-off, we need to move into the content creation stage, beginning with modeling our 3D scenes. We'll start to open 3ds Max and create the models we'll need for the first panel of our storyboard. We'll do this by first working with 2D shapes, an efficient and effective method of creating the basis for your 3D models. We'll look at modifying some open shapes. These are shaped with open ends that do not connect. We'll work with some closed shapes. These are shapes that are closed splines all the way around. Then we'll move into working with 3D polygon objects, starting out with something called editable poly. The poly modeling technique offers an extreme amount of efficiency. From there, we'll look at a combination of 2D and 3D objects to create our final 3D objects. We'll look at objects called compound objects, one of which will allow us to cut a 2D shape into a 3D object to define the edges of roadways. We'll look at using the graphite modeling tools in more detail so we can create our 3D objects and edit those objects as well. We'll look at an important concept in 3ds Max called modifiers. They are discrete operations that get applied to objects to make modifications. They can be edited and reorganized to affect the creation of 3D objects. There are object space modifiers and world space modifiers that we will look at in this chapter.